Whitey Show. The 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 Whitey Show. I'm the review who loves to say son of a bitch. The same review who hates most Nintendo shit. I'm the one who calls games what they are. I even own a 360 and hate Gears of War. Guy who spends his money on games, fucking cars, just a funny guy who became a YouTube star. Well, picking up Infamous, there was a lot of good things going through my mind. One, Sucker Punch. They made Sly, baby. Sly kicks ass. Two, it's an open world sandbox game. I like sandbox games. I'm not going to deny it. And three, it has superheroes. I like superheroes. So how can this game go wrong? Well, you got to watch the rest of the review to find out if it did go wrong or if it's just as good as all the hype around it has been. Infamous, the story is actually surprisingly good. I didn't think it was going to be terrible, but it's better than I thought. Basically, it starts off with you're delivering this package, you open it, bam, you turn, you blow up a huge chunk of the city, and you're basically this electrified badass. Um, what I really like about the story is it's told in a comic book fashion, so it really grasps the feeling of being a superhero. Overall, I really like the characters. I think from Cole to his girlfriend to this evil bitch you meet later on are all really well-made characters. There's only one character I don't like. The voice acting is great, especially from Cole. He delivers some corny lines once in a while, but with the deep voice, he sounds like such a badass when he comes off um, in some of these lines. So I definitely give a thumbs up to the voice acting. Um, the two stories, the good and evil, are done pretty well. I mean, there's not a huge difference, but it does make a difference throughout until the end. Um, really the only negative thing about the story is the annoying sidekick. I just want to punch him in the fucking face and then throw him into the river and make him drown. I just can't stand him at all. But besides him, the story of Infamous is well told and I enjoy it quite a lot. Just don't be shows. It's right now. I'm a little short on friends. The graphics for Infamous are mostly good too. Um, there's a few negatives but nothing too big first of all the powers look great i mean electricity when you are pounding the floor with electricity looks awesome shooting it everything just looks great the main character model looks great especially yourself um they it just they, he looks awesomely modeled uh some of the other characters look you know like they could have used some work but it's a sandbox game right and overall the design is very cool i love the, the way um you know the whole electricity works and how it feels like you're in the city of death and everything though I will say it's not the best looking city I know it's after the plague and all this violence and everything it's just a very like kinda of smudgy I can't really explain it city it's not the worst thing I've ever seen it's just not the most uh, you know I'm not into this city as much as I wish I could be but uh, I do like the character design and everything and uh, really the only negative thing uh, that's for some people is there's a few pop-ups but really, I'm not even going to take points off because pop-ups don't bother me. If it didn't sound like Infamous already kicked ass, let's hit the gameplay. Electricity has never been so badass in its life. You could throw electric bombs, you could make a mini thunderstorm, you could shoot rays of lightning, you can come down to earth and shatter the fucking ground with electricity waves. I mean, this game takes electricity and says, you know what, how about we make one of the most boring things in the world fucking awesome? And the guy's like, thumbs up, dude, and bam, they're just like, yeah, let's do it, and boom, they get what, what, what would I call the most electricity badass I've ever seen, really. They do a great job, it's a lot of fun, and uh, they... They really grasp the feeling of making electricity a weapon. Um, the the climbing is just extremely fun. It's almost like Assassin's Creed but faster. And it's just a lot of fun that you can basically climb anything that you can grab onto. And shooting from any position is also fun. You can shoot from a flagpole to on the side of a building. I mean that is a, an awesome feature that should be in every superhero game. Um, Melee is actually surprisingly decent too. I'm not saying it's excellent or that you're a Kung Fu master. But it works. Uh, the karma is actually a fun idea, and it works pretty well where you can see someone on the street and you can decide their fate, whether they're an enemy or a person. If they're a person, you can take their life force and turn it into energy, or you can help them by, you know, restarting their heart or something. Or you can just, uh, either you could kill an enemy and become more evil, or you can restrain them by putting, uh, cuffs around them, electricity cuffs, which is also a very cool thing. And actually, the surprisingly thing is the side missions are decent for the most part. Even some of them have a mini story, like this one mission where the cop needs help fighting 
fighting a bunch of guys, and if you help him, he'll give you shards that uh, level you up. Or you can just kill him, take the shards, and then kill the bad guys and get more experience. It's up to you whether you want to be good or bad. That's really cool. And side mixtures actually have a point in this game. Um, the only negative things I really have to say are some of the story missions kind of feel like side missions, which are kind of sad. Like, they are filler for the most part, just to, you know, drag on the story. Not too many, but there are there, I'm not going to lie. Enemies, even on normal mode, seem to have the best aim in the fucking world. They can really shoot like they're in the motherfucking army when they're just thugs. I don't understand. I mean, some of them are, you know, other monsters like you. But, most part, they're thugs and they have, like, the best aim in the world. Like, they've been playing Counter-Strike their whole fucking life and they can just keep getting headshot. But, really, besides that, the game is a lot of fun, as I said. Climbing shit never really gets old. And using electricity in the most badass way ever. It's probably the coolest thing this game does right. If you're still with me after this long ass review, I give you a little clap. And I tell you what I enjoyed in this game. If you couldn't tell, almost everything. You want to be a superhero? Here it is. This is the game, okay? Not that prototype won't be awesome. Not that Hulk wasn't awesome. Not that some of the Spider-Man games wasn't good. But this is... It makes its own idea of a superhero. It's making up its own superhero. And it does a really good job. It's at least 15 hours. If not more. If you do some of the side missions, it's more. If you do all the side missions, you can almost get double the length. And uh, as I said, the side missions are actually fun to do. So why don't you do them? There's two sides, as I said, bad or good, so you can replay it if you be good and then go back to bad. There's a cool thing, uh, you know, karma systems are good, and most games they're half-assed, and this game it actually works. One negative thing I can say is they gotta get rid of this annoying sidekick and get a decent one. Sidekicks can be very important to a story. This guy just makes me want to punch him in the face, like go into the game, say, hey, what's up, Zach, and then BAM, punch him in the fucking face, okay? I know I sound a little angry, but he has some of the corniest lines, and he ruins, after I do a very hard mission, he'll call me and say something stupid, like, hey, can I get your autograph so I can get a girl's number? And I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up, I just rescued 50 people, I hate you, I'm gonna punch you. Anyway, besides that, the game does almost everything else well, it's definitely worth picking up ps3 exclusive fans that don't like to buy other great systems this is definitely a game for you anybody who has multi consoles pick this up it's a fun game and if you just want to electrify people it, it does it really well so infamous definitely a great game